Welcome to our lecture online. Nothing like a good example to show you what something means. Here we're trying to find out the meaning of current density and we already saw in the previous video that the current density is equal to the current divided by the cross-sectional area of the conductor. Let's say we have a conductor here that has a current of 4 amps and the diameter of the conductor is 2 millimeters. What would be the current density? So in this case, that would be equal to I divided by 4, no, not 4 pi, because that's the surface area of a sphere, it simply would be pi r squared. So it would be pi times r squared. So in this case, that would be 4 amps divided by pi times r. Now r would be half a diameter, that would be 1 millimeter. And we square that. So this would be equal to 4 amps divided by pi times 0.001 meter squared, because we want to convert that to meters. So let's see what we end up with in this particular case. So that's 4 divided by pi divided by 0.001 squared equals, and notice it's 1.27 times 10 to the 6th. So that would be equal to 1.27 times 10 to the 6th amps per square meter. Now notice the size of that. That's over a million amps per square meter. Now current density is sometimes used to see if the material you're using for a conductor can handle that kind of current density. In some cases, when the current density ends up being in the billions of, joule, uh, billions of amps per square meter, then you may end up with something where the conductor cannot handle that. And so therefore, that's where the current densities are typically used for, and the numbers associated with them are quite large. And that's what we mean by current density.